one thing I want to say before I get into all the the release date of when it's coming and artwork and pictures and all that jazz, right? Before I get to all that, I really want to say first, my worry about Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, and I'm going to dive right into it. Patron got me on this, okay? And I also switched. Let me make sure I got everything set up because I want to want to be looking good when I get into my topics, okay? But one thing I feel like that's going to be very sad with Grand Theft Auto Trilogy is I fear too many censorship changes. I feel too many censorship changes are going to come. Now, what I heard was the removal of the Confederate flag. Now. Damn, Nick, you jump right into it. I'm on Patron. <laughs> I'm on Patron. Why not? But the removal of the Confederate flag. Now, be honest, me, myself, I ain't give a shit. They could have kept it. I know a lot of people wonder, like, Nick, what's, why would you say keep it? it? First of all, let me tell you guys, I announced just a couple months ago, for those who have not new to, you know, some people are new to the channel, so I always got to explain. I'm a black man, okay? I announced this a couple months ago world went crazy man my, my twitter feed was just blowing up i mean i had so many comments i didn't know what to do i i finally came out with it i i've been hiding it i know i guess so i just want to say for this trilogy if they censor things it's going to start and end nasty so I don't want to remove the Confederate flag. You know why? Because I already know why the Confederate flag was there. The Confederate flag was there to represent the people in the game who holds the Confederate flag. Uh, the same way, you know, you, you're going to have CJ and his posse over there. You're going to have so Like, it's going to be a lot of that. I expect that. I expect that. So I'm not mad, you know, about none of that. But I want the censorship to stop. Like, where do we stop at? You know what I'm saying? Hey, no longer we're stealing cars. You rent them. Uh, there's no gas cars. They're all eco-friendly. <laughs> They're all eco-friendly cars. You don't use guns. You shoot Nerf guns. <laughs> Obviously, you have codes for all the Nerf guns. Okay? The police are not police. They're community members. Like, come on. This is what's driving me crazy. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, a bunch of different things in relation to Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. A lot of people do not know anything about this. So I want to go ahead and break it down nice and slow. I'm not going to do y'all any injustice for this. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it up. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy price dated and first footage reveal. So let's start with after Kotaku was first to tell you Rockstar was remastering the first three 3D Grand Theft Auto games. Kotaku had to send that plug. That was a shameless plug, Kotaku. Shameless plug on you, Kotaku. Ah, shit. Reminds me a lot of myself, though. I gotta be honest. All manners of leaks and rumors have flown around until the developer finally officially confirmed, confirmed their existence two weeks ago. Today, they announced a release date, November 11th! Now, to some of you, you might be super hyped. You might say November 11th. Nick, that's around the corner. I can go grab that. Yes. So great I can grab that, Nick. Thank you. And you know what I say? I say screw Rockstar for taking down the fan projects that had these games great in the first place. People work there, you know, years at a time for these fan projects. And all of a sudden, you say, hey, we won't want your fan project no more. Hey, take them all down. Now we're going to release our own shit. It, it seems like, now guess what? If those fan projects were out, and let's just say they were trying to hold the F-bomb shit. But let's just say they were sitting there collecting cobwebs, okay? They're dust. It's d disgusting. Nobody wants to touch them. Guess what? You wouldn't be making a trilogy right now. So what I think should be happening in a lot of these fan projects is uh, they should be coming to the people who help develop the fan projects and say, hey, you know, we don't want to, you know, we don't even have to make you a part as far as like future revenue down the line, but we can make you a part of the process of creating it and pay you for that. So at least pay you and then you could be part creating instead of, hey, guys, I'm sorry, my fan project shut down. I'm sorry I can't provide it to you guys, but, you know. Tough titty, Rockstar said they want it. 
that's not fair. That's not fair, Rockstar. You can't be doing that. Okay. So now let's get back to it. I just had to tell Rockstar, take two, enter, whatever you want to say. All right. Rockstar's official page for the game has just gone up, revealing the trilogy of classic Murder Fest. GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas will be yours in 20 days if you get a digital version. For physical versions on all formats, it'll be December 6th in Europe, December 7th in the United States. Any of those versions will cost you a blistering $60 on PC, PS4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and Xboxes. Of course, you're getting three absolutely enormous games here, folks. So $60 might not immediately seem bad. It's just that we're talking games ranging from 17 to 20 years old. Yes, that is correct. We're talking about the pricing of $60 for games that are 17 to 20 years old. That is not an understatement. You can pay much cheaper prices. You can also play these games on emulators for a, a much cheaper free. <laughs> okay. Uh very simply, also, but of course they're reselling nonetheless. Which to say, announcing the pre-orders with less than three weeks to go and slapping on a premium price is asking players to exercise a lot of faith. However, we can finally see a short glimpse of how the three games will be looking compared to the originals in the just released video. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. Like I said, uh, <laughs> since I got you hooked me up, I can't say. You know, I'm playing. They mess with the biggest boy in town. All right, now, there we go. We got a good look. I wish I could just X this out. There we go. So we got a look. I'll pull it up on big screen because I could do it like that, right? Looks great, right? Beautiful. Ah. I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. My fault, my fault. I just don't want to get flagged, so I had to bring it back down. I'm not trying to. That, now, that's a good difference. I want to see that again. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? So one thing I don't think that's captured in this video that I think is going to be a big factor is 4K and 60 frames per second, playing smooth. You can't see too much of it in this trailer. Oh, yeah. And if he's right in the south, kill him. That's a much better look. But it's just... I'll get to my part at the end. It's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> Yo, I'll never forget that part, too. And Carl talked so much shit, man. The whole time through the game, Carl was just all blah, 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 asking questions. And I went, Carl, shut up. Just roll with it. November 11th, there you go. Now, the game site explains that the games have been remastered by Grove Street Games. <laughs> I got to turn this down so I don't be uh, duplicating myself. Grove Street Games, the same Florida studio that ported the original versions across to mobile, and they've always done a good job with those, but of course, no one's hand a chance to play these yet, or no one's hand had a chance to play these yet. Uh, maybe they fucked up. I don't know. But to get a feel for how they work two decades later. So that's as far as the trilogy. Now, what else we got? Improvements to targeting and lock-on aiming. Can we talk about it? Can we get some shotgun shots for that? Updated weapon and radio station wheels. Can we talk about it? Can we dig? Yo, yo, yo. They better not censor any of those radio stations. I want to hear all that shit. I want to hear it. I want to hear it all. They could have left the Confederate flags for me. That would have been... I would have said, oh, I know what side of town this is. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Like, this is, leave them. You know, they, but nonetheless, uh, what was I? Updated mini maps and enhanced navigation, allowing players to set waypoints to destinations, updated achievements, trophies, and more. That is a lot of upgrades. I will say that is, that is nice to have. The Nintendo Switch version also features Switch specific controls, including gyro aiming as well as touchscreen camera zooming, pans, and menu selections. While the PC version includes support for NVIDIA DLSS and additional new accomplishments via the Rockstar Games Social Club. Oh man, okay. So, for all my people out there that got Nintendo Switches, okay, let's start with y'all. If you got a Nintendo Switch, guess what? You're probably just gonna wait to the trilogy. Oh, Sora. Sora, that's why I came back. Sora, hold up, hold up. 
Couple shotgun shots. Okay, give you a bomb and all that. Okay, got to give it all to you. Sora, pull it up there. Pull it up there. Now, Dylan, let me put some respect on that. Okay, Sora, cheers, cheers. Woo! Oh, gosh. Whoa. So a shout out to you, though. Much appreciated. I'll give you a couple more shotgun shots there, okay? So, nonetheless, now that I'm back up on big screen, I'm so happy because everybody that has a Nintendo Switch modded, right? Uh, for those who don't have a Nintendo Switch modded, you'll probably be paying for this. I can tell you a lot of people that have their Nintendo Switch modded, they're probably going to be pirating. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't like to say it like that, but a lot of people pirate. It's just part of the community. They make apps for pirating. There's... There's whole communities for pirating. Like, it, it's just crazy, okay? So people who have it, there is good people who do their good homebrew justice, okay? I want to send a shout-out to them. I do put up videos. I like to give a shout-out to people who do make the good homebrew, okay? But let's be honest. You can get your hands on that GTA trilogy, possibly early, and play it, and get your, and put it on your dock? And what? What the community? Oh, man. Yo, and then an OLED hat? What? Yo. This is crazy. This is crazy. But anyway, the PC specs offer some clues on how grand the improvements might be. So the minimum requirements are an i5-2700 FX6300 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 760 2 gigabytes or Radeon R9-280. There we go. I don't want to get too tech savvy. Some people watch it don't even care about all the tech shit. I'm going to be honest. Uh, but the Grand Theft Auto trilogy is going to come to you guys faster than you think. And when it comes here... I must say, to me, it's going to be a lot of the same. I don't think it's going to be much different. I think it's going to be very similar to the original ones besides some, some key updates. But I'm curious to see what we bring out of this. Who knows? Somebody may get these versions and see that they actually ripped from the fan projects. Who knows? You know what I mean? We, we really don't know yet. So nonetheless, that's Grand Theft Auto Trilogy coming out November 11th. Yes, it has been remastered by Grove Street. Gangs, yo, put some respect on Grove Street. If y'all don't know my famous Grove Street memory, okay, I know that sounds kind of that sounds really ghetto. I love that shit. That's that's some ghetto shit. I love it. So my famous Grove Street memory was when I was CJ, came outside. It's a wonderful day. I hopped in a police car that was just sitting out there. Next thing you know, you know, I, I got a star. I don't know why, but I drove back to the hood, drove back home. I went in the house. I got a camera. I seen some girls standing out there. I picked her up, got a homie. I stood on top of the uh, police car, gave him, the, gave him the camera and told him to take a photo. That was the best shit ever. The best thing ever. That's my best moment of Grand Theft Auto ever. 